Ever been in a situation where there is absolutely no mobile network coverage in an area? An even worse scenario is when one can't even make an emergency call. Let's look at the terminology used in different parts of the world. Let us take a region or an area where four mobile network operators have been licensed to provide coverage. Here you can see the example coverage area by each operator. We can divide this in three different scenarios. The first scenario is that there are areas where all the mobile networks have coverage. Here the mobiles from any of the mobile operators will be able to camp on the network and use the services provided. This is the normal or expected mode of operation. The second scenario is where there is coverage by some but not all mobile operators. Here the mobiles whose network has coverage will be able to connect and use the services normally. The mobiles whose network has no coverage will not be able to connect and use the services from their operator. However, they will still be able to make emergency calls to emergency services as needed. When they initiate an emergency call, the mobile will connect to any of the other networks and start the call. In theory, a mobile device doesn't even need to have a SIM to make an emergency call, but most countries do not allow devices without a SIM to initiate an emergency call. The third scenario, which is the most dangerous scenario, is where there is no coverage by any operator. Here, none of the devices will be able to initiate an emergency call as there is no coverage by any of the operators. The regulators in most countries try their best not to have areas where there is no coverage by any of the operators. Depending on where you are in the world, the name of the no coverage area changes. Here we look at some of them. The most common name is dead zones to imply that the mobile coverage in that area is dead. Another popular name is not spots implying mobile coverage in the area or the spot is not available. Another term that is also commonly used is black spot to imply the coverage in the area is not there so it's dark or black. On the other hand, in Germany, the term used to refer to areas with no coverage is white spots rather than the more commonly used black spots. Similarly, the names of the areas where there is coverage by some but not all operators is different in different parts of the world. The most common ones are partial dead zones as opposed to dead zones where there was no coverage. Partial not spots to indicate some coverage as opposed to not spots with absolutely no coverage. Finally, we have the grey spots which can be used in conjunction with both black spots as well as white spots. The spelling of grey can vary depending on whether you follow the British or American spelling. This was what we wanted to discuss in this brief tutorial. Feel free to let us know what terms are used in your part of the world. Thanks and see you again soon. Goodbye.